hello all and welcome to this session on uh, statistics one for the discussion of assignments so we'll start with question number one uh, it's a multi-part question so uh, the education minister wants to know the status of campus placements of p-tech students in different engineering colleges um, an analyst did the survey on the randomly selected four IITs of India and analyzed the status of campus placements based on the information given. Answer the questions 1, 2 and 3. Question number 1 is identify the samples and population. So here uh, since the population will be a broader part that means population will cover all the B.Tech students in uh, all the B.Tech students colleges in different uh, engineering um, uh, sorry uh, it will cover all the BTEC students in different engineering colleges of India and uh, the sample would be uh, the randomly selected four IITs of India so we will have to narrow down to one option uh, by reading all the options that uh, the first option is the sample consists of all the engineering institutes of India and population consists of randomly selected this cannot be the case as it violates our uh, population and sample definition the sample consists of IITs of India and the population consists of Engineering Institute of India here it's not talking about the four institutes so this is also not the case the sample so now the third uh, part the sample consists of all IITs of India and population consists of randomly selected four IITs of India this is uh, not the case and finally the fourth part the sample consists of four randomly selected IITs of India and population consists of all the engineering institutes of India so yes this would be our answer so answer for this would be the last part D uh, second question is a report given by an analyst to the education minister about the status of campus placement states that the campus placement of BTEC students is 95% in different engineering institutes of India the given statement of analyst is based on which kind of statistical analysis so clearly when we are um, uh, analyzing our results based on um, the sample that we have collected uh, the sample that we have taken into consideration uh, it will be inferential statistics now the third part is the conclusion of the study made by the analyst on the basis of chosen sample reliable so uh, I would uh, I would say this is not reliable because it is only considering IITs four IITs and uh, all other engineering institutes are not considered so yes this cannot be considered as reliable so answer would be no uh, the data of five different types of fertilizers used by farmers of a village is tabulated now the thing here to be noted it is tabulated okay uh, we'll talk about it later based on the information given answer the following questions 4 5 6 7 and 8 so this is a tabular data that we are given here uh, it consists of uh, different attributes that is fertilizers type of fertilizers uh, area fields type of crops and amount of fertilizers um, now let's go to question number four and see what what this question is asking which of the following statements is are true uh, inorganic is a case and type of fertilizer is a variable see here fertilizers type of fertilizers area of area fields type of crops amount of fertilizers all these are variables right and when we talk about uh, the values that they hold these are different types of cases so inorganic is a case yes it's a case and type of fertilizers is a variable so option one is correct rise is a case see type of crops it's a variable it store different types of values and rice is one of the cases manure is a case amount of fertilizers is a variable yes it's a variable it's a it's a quantitative variable so yeah it's a variable and nitrogen is a variable no nitrogen is not a variable it's a case it's a case for fertilizers fertilizer is a variable and nitrogen is one of its case so it's not a variable fifth question is what is the scale of measurement of type of crops see type of crops as it's quite evident that this is a nominal 
kind of uh, scale why do I say so because in ordinal we have a definite order in interval we have fixed intervals and in ratio we have a fixed quantity that has a zero so out of all the options nominal scale is the correct answer what kind of variable is area of fields more than one option can be correct so area of field first of all this is a numerical data now second thing is it has value 1 1.2 1.4 and kind of uh, like this value so it's a numerical data undoubtedly it's a numerical data it's a continuous data now why do I say so it's not a categorical data not a discrete data see discrete data has to be exact like 1 or 2 3 or the amount of um, items that you have purchased from a shop and it can be 10 it can be 100 but it has to be fixed but continuous variable it changes over time for a fixed amount of time it changes so if I talk about 1 to 2 there can be n number of values for a area of field it can be 1.1222 1.456 1.656 so there can be pretty much infinity number of uh, numbers between 1 and 2 so this would be a continuous type of variable and other one would be numerical what is the scale of measurement of amount of fertilizers now amount of fertilizers this is clearly numerical value so let's see the options uh, ordinal scale nominal scale interval scale and ratio scale um, this would be a ratio scale because if we talk about amount of fertilizers it's in kgs so so basically what does it imply it's in kgs right so it's true zero will be will be a zero it will be a zero so if by that we mean that if it's 200 kgs then it is 200 kgs it, it cannot be something different in some other scale it will be 200 kgs and when it will be nothing it will be 0 kg so the point being that for a ratio scale it has to be a true 0 so it's a true 0 it's not an interval scale not a nominal scale and not an ordinal scale also if it would have been a multiple choice question then yes ordinal scale could have been taken into consideration but since there's only one option correct in this question so it's a ratio scale in the given data 1.1 G uh, that's the table that we are talking about uh, above uh, it's structured or unstructured see uh, before starting this question I deliberately told you to 